For some reason, I am missing my last video, and I'm positive that I did do it, and I'm pretty sure that I uploaded it. Whoa! Pretty sure that I uploaded it, but for some reason, I can't find it. And it doesn't appear to be in my, um, inventory. So I'm not 100% certain what the hell is going on, and... I don't feel like going through the entire game like I've already did... ...over again. Now, the last video wasn't much action, in fact, it was just pretty much the, uh... What happened at that one water village, to be honest with you, not much to um, really say. But alas, it's missing, and so this entire playthrough is going to be incomplete. And, and I don't know, maybe in a future, I may be, um, doing this LP again. Say, for example, if I can find a way to do this LP with the game video, I might do it again. But I'm going to be a little honest with you. Um, uh, <coughs> this LP, I'm uh, not exactly, um, well, really feeling it, you know? And that's probably due to, um, it being because this is just a, uh, style of game that I just normally have no interest in. I'm really not that interested in 2D action adventure RPG like video games. I just never really had an interest in them. And yes, that includes Zelda Sumi. I'm not a. F I shouldn't say that I like. Okay, I've only really played Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. But, for me, Zelda, from, uh, what I've seen, is the, uh, one, and possibly, in my opinion, so far, is the only franchise I've seen, which, uh, improved for us the, uh, jump from... 2D to 3D. See, I did not like 3D Mario. I didn't like Super Mario 64 at all. But I'm going to be honest with you, most of in uh, general, I was just not a big fan of the N64. The uh, games I liked at the time, I really liked. But going back, those uh, games aren't as uh, good as I uh, remember. Take like GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, for example. Have you tried to play those games? Um, I find the controls for GoldenEye and Perfect Dark to be atrocious. The only N64 game that I really enjoyed growing up, which I still enjoy to this day, is the... Um, Turok, and while I've never owned it, but I did rent it a lot, Turok 2. Well, it's not just because of the dinosaurs, but, um, for a first 
person shooter on the N64. They got the controls right. And I don't care what people's opinions are now. And GoldenEye, the controls are just wrong. GoldenEye and Perfect Dark and... I'm not certain if Doom 64 because I haven't played it recently. Well, I shouldn't say recently. I haven't already played any of these um, games recently. But I did, for a little while, not that long ago, own an N64 with a small selection of games. And I got rid of it. I got rid of it because I just, you know, that console I just, you know, didn't particularly like. I did not like the N64 because it was just, uh, for one, It had too many platformers on it. More specifically, it had too many of the 3D platformers on it. And I, at that particular moment, and not so much now, there are a couple 3D platformers which I, uh, for the most part, do like and appreciate now. But back then, 3D platformers were just, for me, uh, fun for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And then they quickly, quickly got boring. They got boring because they were essentially repetitive. And like, I when it comes to me and exploration, there is a fine line between I want to explore and I don't want to explore. And when it came to 3D platformers, I did not want to explore. See, um, if I want to do something, I t it tends to be the option of doing something where it was so kind of 3D platformers. I had to. And I had to go around every nook and cranny finding a, uh, whatever the hell it was. I was supposed to find blue coins, red coins, well not blue coins in Super Mario 64, but red coins, and 100 coin challenges, and just finding obscure stars and the like, which I just did not want to do. And it was made especially worse for the, uh, Super Mario 64, because as soon as you found a star, with the exception of the, uh, I believe the, uh, 100 coin star, you were kicked out of the level. And it kind of ruined the, uh, sense of flow, you know? But the truth is, I just don't like being forced to find collectibles in order to progress <coughs> in a game. I've uh, just never liked having to be forced to collect something, especially if it's a lot of something, when it comes to uh, video gamers, it doesn't even have, it doesn't even have to be a uh, 3D platformer. It could be a 2D platformer as well. There has been a uh, few um, 
two D platformers that I remember renting, and it was not necessarily Metroidvania because it's Metroidvania. There's not really any, it's stages, but they're all connected. Where it was some. Um, These, it was just, you know, it was separate levels, but, uh, they, they weren't really long, but they felt long because you had to explore every nook and cranny and have to find a bunch of stupid shit in order to, to progress. And I've always just, uh, Never enjoyed those kind of games because I found it ruined the enjoyment for me having to be forced to uh, forced to explore and always missing that one item and having to be forced to find that one obscure hidden item in a uh, damn it I didn't want to do that in a uh, video game where that kind of shit felt cheap, you know? And it did, it felt cheap. I don't mind, I, I actually like exploring. What do you think I, it's what, what do you think I have such a, um, thing for Western RPGs and the like. You think Western? The thing is, Western RPGs, for one, they uh, tend to give you a uh, compass and an objective. And two, when you're exploring in a uh, Western RPG, you know, like yeah, back during the uh, beginning, it was a bit rough. You know have to find someone and there was no compass <clears throat> and so you uh, essentially what the hell was that um Damn it. Looks like there's some trick things I have to do in this, uh, in this particular portion of the, uh, game. And again, I don't particularly appreciate that. But oh well, as I said, I'm uh, not exactly, I like this game I like, for the most part. But it's still a genre I just don't really like. And um, you know, like if you don't like something, no matter how much you want to like it, you're never 100% gonna like it, you know? Like, I'll be honest with you, I want to like Zelda, I really do. But I just can't bring myself to. I just can't bring myself To like Zelda because it's just too well 2D Zelda. I shall tell you, I just can't bring myself to like it. And I've tried, okay. I'm not saying this as some sort of yes, Peter. I've legitimately tried to like 
Cootie Zelda, and I just can't bring myself to do it, you know? I just can't bring myself to do it. No matter how uh, much I want to, and like, I'm going to be in the potential future. I'm going to be getting a new 3DS capture card, and I guarantee you, one of the uh, Nintendo eShop games I'm getting for the uh, new 3DS is going to be A Link to the Past. Because why the fuck not? I have all the other Zelda games for the uh, free Gus eShop with the exception of Zelda 2, which I may very well end up giving a uh, try anyways. Because why the hell not? But like, you know, I just legitimately do not like these kind of games, like, for one, this section right here, I do not appreciate these, uh, kind of trial and error fall down the, uh, Sections, you know? Now, what's in here? Anything I need to collect? I'll be damned. There is something I need to collect. Okay. So, I don't 100% feel like a doofus for, um, trying to get to this safe point knowing that I can, uh, the nearby did send enemies flying and you see recall to climb hills. Okay. Attack and LR. Did say oh. Attack L R. I am um, might have to need to look up a guide for this. Because I know. And this is probably something I have to use, isn't it? I am going to save my game here. And then it at this point. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. And